Good morning, Professor Chiara Bucciarelli-Ducci, Chair of the EACBI CMR section, which is also Vice President of EACBI. What was unique for you about this conference? Uh, well, <coughs> this conference was unique because uh, well, it breaks a record. Uh, it's the busiest and the largest uh, CADEC MRI meeting ever uh, held in the world. And uh, it was a joint effort between the ECVI and, uh, and SCMR. And so we're very proud of this. There is over 1,800 attendees. And so, so that's a first record. And what's been unique is the program has been particularly rich. You know, not so many, uh, just so many tracks, but the variety of the educational offer was uh, such that it was basically there for, to please every audience. You know, from the very um, naive CMR people, they came with zero knowledge, uh, to the very expert ones. So really MRI in all flavors. And, uh, and also not just um, kind of nitty-gritty MRI, but there were a lot of uh, educational sessions, for example, with the anatomical specimen, uh, with 3D printers, and uh, so that made the whole topics and, and program very um, variable and very rich in terms of what it was um, offering. And it was the meeting also with a very nice buzz, you know, a lot of uh, young people um, came to this meeting, and uh, therefore the atmosphere, I think, was uniquely uh, very... Um, buzzy and very uh, exciting. Absolutely, fantastic. Congratulations because you did an amazing job organizing this fantastic conference. Yeah, well, all the credit I must say, it goes really, you know, 90% of this is uh, Robin Nishvelt and uh, Giuliano de Lara Fernandez because as uh, they've been two exceptional program chairs and they really did over and above, you know, the program and they've been looking after every single detail of the conference. So it's really, all the credit goes to them, really. And Chiara, do you have any advice for the young community and trainees? Uh, yes, uh, very many advice. Uh, I wasn't a trainee very, very long time ago myself, uh, so uh, I know what it's like. I think the first advice really that uh, if you want to start with CMR, uh, don't get intimidated and don't get uh, shy about it. And uh, a lot of people think it's very complex because there's so much physics that they will never understand. And actually, I mean, of course it's complex, but with many other, as many other things. But uh, first of all, they should come to a meeting like this one, uh, which is very informal, you know, very uh, kind of young meeting. And there is plenty of educational offer for people that have never done CMR. And so you can start really from A to B, C, up to Z. And uh, this is what the program here offers. And uh, this is just one of the many educational ways to get started with CMR. And the both societies, the CVI and the CMR, have uh, a lot of educational offer on the website. And uh, so there are multiple ways to get started. And this is really what we want to promote, um, really branching out um, to the cardiology and radiology community and, uh, and get more of those colleagues involved. You know, cardiovascular diseases is one of the leading causes of death. So really there is a mandate in the medical community uh, to understand those diseases better and treat them better. And, uh, and therefore, I think there is plenty uh, of opportunities and plenty of jobs for everybody that want to do non-invasive imaging. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chiara. No, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>